Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's Saturday morning. Oh, is that a Saturday makes you feel Winifred? <laughs> so it's Saturday morning. Porridge. I nearly forgot to show you my porridge. So I've got porridge, chopped banana, and a bit of sorry, and a bit of strawberry sauce. So it's forecast lots of rain today and tomorrow. So not quite sure what we're going to do. Um, but I'm sure we'll find lots of jobs. What have you got planned for the weekend, Winifred? Sitting in your bed, watching the world go by, sticking your tongue in and out. How many times can you stick your tongue in and out? <laughs> Winifred, hello. <laughs> Do you like your tongue? Anyway, so happy Saturday. Here we go again. Woohoo! You knew it was coming. A bottle of good old fairy and some lovely washing up. So, washing up suit first, empty dishwasher. James is back from holiday, so I'm sure he's probably left on his bedroom floor a load of washing. Uh, that was just me being sarcastic. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure we can find some washing, and who knows what else we can do. Let's get the washing up done first. Oh, got to love it when you get a little treat from the neighbours down the street. Look, well, that, a, that rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> so the lady down the street, she's old, bless her, and she's grown some tomatoes. They're absolutely massive, aren't they, Ruby? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so kind. I love that. It's time to make up. Got to love a bit of holiday washing when you haven't even had the excitement of going on holiday. Washing machine's on. We've got some good music on as well. Can you hear what's on? It's Adam the Ant. Oh dear, the rain has arrived. When the weather's rubbish, it makes you feel like this. You just have to. Bury your head in your fluffy bed, look. <laughs> Ooh, I'm in my sewing room. It's been a long time. Um, so I've just had to do a few little clothing repairs. I've had to sew a button on and stitch my husband's my husband shorts up. So we're in here for the moment. Aww, so I've made a hen. <laughs> I've made a little hen. So she's filled with French lavender. And I'm going to give her to the lady that runs the egg club where we go and collect the eggs from on a Sunday because they look after all these like rescue hens and rescue animals and it's so sweet. So I've made her a hen. So when I drop my money off tomorrow for my eggs, I'm going to leave it in the little egg basket for them. It's so cute and they smell so nice, filled with French lavender. Back to the washing machine. Ding, ding, part two. Hmm, really funny when you start thinking about food and then it's like they can read your mind and they just magically appear. Look, it's magic. I'm a magician. <laughs> Does it smell nice because I've opened that ham? I haven't got anything in my hand lock. Does it smell nice? It does, doesn't it? Look at Florence's tail. Ooh, is it exciting? <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my dinner. So I've got lettuce tomatoes from my lovely neighbour how adorable is that like homegrown tomatoes I just think that's so sweet and some wafer thin turkey ham so off to enjoy it here I am I've just realised I got through the whole morning and you've not even seen me here I am uh, here I am so I've got my Chanel hair clip in today my fake Chanel hair clip but for £10, who cares? So it's very, very sparkly. As soon as the sun hits it or spotlights, it shines so much. It's so pretty. So anyway, it's about one o'clock. I think we need a cup of coffee. Let's go get that kettle on. Coffee! So I made myself a coffee in my mug of the day. And then I've got some grapes and strawberry and a little low-fat jelly. So I'll also enjoy my little treat. Mm, it's a hard life, isn't it? It's a hard life, just laying there, being a guard dog. <laughs> wow, can you believe these balloons have been up since June? <laughs> 
<laughs> and that just said to Ruby, I think we need to take the balloons down now. These have been up since my birthday in June. They were about a pound from Asda supermarket. Look, they're still really pert. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So if you want some money's worth of balloons, get yourself to Asda. What a bargain. But sadly, I'm sick of seeing them now. Right, I've decided. We're having a bit of a change round. So I'm clearing all my ornaments out of my sitting room, giving it a good dust, and then putting some in, but maybe not putting them all back in. I seem to have rather a lot of stuff. I'm trying to get my little grumpy tween is it when you're not quite a teenager my little tween to help me but she doesn't look very enthusiastic does she <laughs> cleaning's good for you wow. i've gone up in the world <laughs> i haven't really i'm still on a footstool cleaning my chandelier what a way to spend a saturday afternoon me my polish my posh hair grip and my footstool and my children that just sit there <laughs> <laughs> they sit there and watch and I know a lot of you will be waggling your fingers going get them to do something I've tried they don't want to <laughs> so they're just going to watch me clean my chandelier oh, Houston we have a problem we have a problem I've dropped my duster oh my god I've got to leave my husband to park my car that close to my plant, plant, plants really was there any need to park my car that close that's literally near touching my little balls. Uh, I'll have a word to them later. Right, duster. Can't believe I dropped it out the window. And because he parked his car so close, I had to walk right around to get it. Right. The phone's making a weird noise. Oh, is it? The house phone? Uh, there's my duster. Right, that's what you have to do. You shake your duster, hold it tight, ladies and gentlemen, so that it doesn't go flying out the window. Winnie's a bit confused by the lack of ornaments. She doesn't understand why all the ornaments are in the hall and not in here. It's confusing, isn't it, Winnie? Are you confused? Confused.com <laughs> ah, Right, so it's just after three. And you know what that means. Mug of the day, coffee. The washing is airing again. My famous conservatory and its useful little ledge where you can hang washing off it to get it dry. Cheers, everybody. Do you know how hard it is not to shove a big piece of chocolate in my mouth? I can't even tell you how hungry I am. I'm trying to resist. Ignore the chocolate, Jane. Oh, so it's been a very odd day. I've been faffing around and I'm still faffing. So I've cleared out so I haven't got quite so many ornaments. Um, I realised I probably don't need all them things. I need to flump my cushions. I'm still desperately trying to find some new cushions, but I've not found any yet. And then I've done a little display on here. So I've got my beautiful flowers from Meadow Maid. They are still absolutely gorgeous and they do match my picture. So I love this little corner. It's so adorable. Ooh, I went to flump. I went to flump and the biggest spider you've ever seen came out from me Saturday. Oh, <laughs> it was horrible. It probably made me squeal. Anyway, we've caught it. Oh, I don't like big spiders. It was kind of living in my furry throw. The tea is underway. -la -la. The tea is underway. So tonight we're having burgers. Oh, it's such a nice treat on a Saturday. Lovely. And while we're waiting, another coffee to keep us going. I saw that in a magazine the other day and I had to cut it out because it's so funny. I want to be like a caterpillar, eat a lot, sleep for a while and wake up beautiful. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is me tea. Of course, my friends are here again. Or only one of my friends, actually. Um, yeah, so we've got my little burgers, some cheese, a uh, little uh, wholemeal roll, lots of salad, a bit of bacon. Off to enjoy it. My tea was delicious. And now my friend wants feeding. <laughs> so wherever I go, she's now my best friend. Are you my best friend? Are you my best friend now? Because you know what you eat tea. Hey, you do make some funny noises, don't you? Yeah? <laughs> Ooh, it's now absolutely peeing it down. I'm kind of glad that it is though, because my little plants are all like droopy. 
They really, really needed a drink, so I'm really glad that it is raining, so I'll do the garden a world of good. But I've just realised I've got to fetch the lottery. <laughs> I don't want to go outside, but I want to put the lottery on because you never know. Joan and her lucky Irish charms, we might be lucky one day, so we need to go to shop very soon. Let's play spot the dog again. Ta da! <laughs> never wants to be found, do you? Like to hide in the littlest of spaces. Look. <laughs> You don't hide, do you? No, you don't hide. <laughs> do you? Oh, are you beautiful? Yeah, look at that lovely face. A face only a mother could love. <laughs> Away we go. We're going to get the lottery. Fingers crossed we'll be lucky. I'm home and you know what this means it's bubblicious time so we've got Avon romantic a la more Avon bubble bath so this is literally I think it's two pound a bottle and it creates the biggest bubbles ever it's absolutely wonderful they do so many different flavors and they just smell wonderful makes your skin really soft if you like a good bubble bath, you'll never beat this for the price. Absolutely wonderful. In fact, I've had more expensive bubble baths and they still weren't as good as this. Love them. Absolutely love them. Wonderful. It's a bubble mountain. Oh. Don't forget, my Avon link is down below. If you spend £20, you get free UK delivery to your door. And if you just want some bubble bath, I think delivery is about three pounds. Absolutely, bubbliciously wonderful. All right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. So many thanks for joining me again today. I do apologise if today's been a bit, well, just a bit normal. We've not really been anywhere or done anything apart from have a good clear out. I tell you what, it does you good to have a good clear out. So if you're feeling a bit like you've got too much stuff, do what I did, take it all out of the room and only put back in what you really, really love. It really does help. So I hope I've inspired at least one other person. So if you do enjoy Just A Bit Of Real Life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget my little website is down below if I can treat you to a mug of the day or a bag of the day. So I love you and leave you and I will speak to you tomorrow.